Hi everybody, welcome to Granny J. Clay. This is Joni. I just wanted to, um, I was working on a, a project today and, and this, this was a part of it. I, I put resin on these pieces. They are about three inches in diameter. And I originally made them uh, for my mom for a Mother's Day gift. And they hung in her little assisted living apartment and then um, at the nursing home and so forth. As she changed different facilities, they would go with her and they would hang on her wall. And I'm sure after a while she forgot that I even had made them. But um, when she passed away this past July, uh, I took these back and I'm going to try to um, do something special with them. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but I just wanted to talk to you about them a little bit. And, uh, first of all, I'll tell you about I'll just tell you about my mom too a little bit. She was wonderful. Um, her name was Ellie, and she was a little feisty gal and short and uh, just petite, real tiny. And she was such a hard worker. Um, both she and my dad worked out of the home for many years, and. Um, Anyway, she was the one that she sewed all of our clothes, and we were always so proud of what she made because she was an excellent seamstress. She was just amazing. Anyway, she was she was our mama. Uh, we have six kids in our family, three girls first, and then three boys, and I am the second uh, to the uh, second oldest. And um, it's just been hard. It's been hard not to have mom around, not to be able to talk to her. Uh, but she passed away right before her 95th birthday. So um, it was just sad. But, you know, we all have to say goodbye to many loved ones during our lifetime, and we know that. But I don't know that you're really ever, 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 ever prepared for it. So anyway, these reminded me of her. her. I had them in a drawer. And I dug them out the other day, and I thought, oh, I just, I want to do something. But let me tell you about them a little bit. Um, this, this is, um, you'll probably recognize it. This is a, a napkin that I used many years ago when I tried that technique. And this time I tried it on white, <laughs> not green. Um, and then on the back, uh, of course, there is a texture. And then I had imprinted my initials as well on it. So that was one, a napkin. And then this one was, um, it looks like a doily, doesn't it? A lace doily. I used uh, Pearl Clay, Pearl Primo, which is probably one of my favorites. And uh, I pressed this clay, let me just show it to you. I pressed the Pearl Clay into this. Now this is not very wide, um, it's, it's fairly deep. But you take the clay and you push it into this and then you shave off the top and then whatever is left in the recesses uh, you can take and put on another color which I chose blue. And so that's what that is. And because it's not um, very wide, the openings on this aren't very wide, it, this got really mushed together. But the general idea was there so I decided I would keep it and um, still give it to mom. So that's that. If you want me to show you this, um, I'm sure there's so many people out there that have already learned this Sutton Slice technique, but it's really fun. It's a fun thing to do. And it ends up being really pretty, depending on the colors you use. Okay, so that was that. <clears throat> on this one, I impressed it with a stamp, and then I painted uh, and uh, I have these, I don't know if you can even tell. Let's see, which one did I use on this? I think I may have used this one. But um, there, maybe you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I think what I did is I added a little paint to the top of, uh, you know, with my finger. I just rubbed a little white paint all around this. And then I pressed it into the black clay. And so it had a, a white imprint. And then 
once that was dry, then I went back and I just painted some little flowers. So that, that was that technique. So there's three different techniques there. And then this one, <laughs> this is different. This is, um, this particular one I wanted to make, make it look like I was laying on the ground, looking up at some flowers and the sun and the clouds. So those are, that's what that's supposed to be. And these are just some uh, flowers that I had made out of two, two layers of clay. Um, and then I carved. And I can show you that technique if you want to know it too. Um, I think they're in all of my prior videos, but nevertheless, I would be happy to do that. If you want to mention it in the comments, I can do that. So I just wanted to show you these today. I'm, I'm just um, kind of being sentimental and, and thinking of my mom. And so I thought, um, I'll just show you what I'm doing and what I'm working on. And I think, you know what, I think this napkin is the same napkin that I used for my bookmark. I'm pretty sure it is. I've had them several years, and I bought them specifically for this. And, of course, you don't use every single napkin when you're doing one piece. So I've had them a long, long time. So, anyway, that's uh, that's what I've been, been doing today. Just a little bit of it, anyway. Uh, I don't have really anything further to show you. I was just wanting to share this, and just to say hi. Um, I think there's... Uh, a good number of us out there that get kind of lonesome once in a while and we we just really need company and uh, I know that's me for sure and having my son and his family over for um, for dinner this past weekend was such a, a blessing and um, it just kind of really helped along the way you know with this past year we've kind of been stuck in the house hibernating uh, as I said to Emma, <laughs> I said we were hibernating. So um, so anyway, so I just thought, well, why not? I'll just make a quick video for you and say hi. And uh, that's about all I had to share today. Oh, there's one other thing. I made my oldest grandson, who's in his first year of college, a fidget. Um, he would come over and he would <laughs> look at my stuff and pick up some of my bracelets that I've made. And... Um, he just kept rubbing on him. He kept thinking, telling me, Grandma, this feels so neat. So I made him a fidget that he could put in his pocket. And he's a real fisherman. Hunt. He likes to hunt and fish. And So I had a, a rather large charm. Let me see if I can show that to you. That was a fish hook, <laughs> believe it or not. And I'm sure back then, no, I guess I don't have any more in here. I'm sure back then, I, oh yeah, here it is. Um, I was thinking of Sammy because of his desire to fish and thinking, what can I do with these? <laughs> anyway, here's here it is. So I attached this to his fidget. Let me just show you another. Then my uh, third oldest grandson saw that and he wanted a fidget too. He said, Grandma, would you make me one? And uh, so I did. Anyway, that's what this is. And this one got a little bit longer. The other one I made was about five inches long, but this ended up being um, about six inches long from the end from the end of the fidget here. <laughs> I can hold it from the end of this area down here up to this silver ball is about six inches. And then I said, "Well, uh, Max, I have a I have a football and I have a helmet. Would you like either of those on it?" Yeah, yeah, football. No, maybe the helmet. I said, well, how about if I put both on? So I put a helmet on that side. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of go, it's loose. I mean, it's not loose because I really sewed it pretty well on there, but it goes up and down. And then there's the football. He, he played football, so, and plays, still plays football. So anyway, that's to go in their pocket, and they just love to, you know, play with them and, you know, wrap them around their fingers and put this on their finger and spin it around. And so that's a fidget. That's a fidget. I, I haven't ever seen anybody make something like this that was called a fidget, but that's what this is. So I guess maybe I made it up. I don't know. Anyway, my uh, fishing other one was, I, he's, he's got it now, so I can't show it to you. It was black and had blue in it. And then this was attached right there. Um, instead of the helmet and the football, that was attached. So <laughs> he got to looking at this, and he says, Grandma, do you think I could use that 
to catch some fish. <laughs> he might use it as bait, he said, because it was shiny and it would dangle in the water. <laughs> so I don't know if he'll do that or not, but I thought it was cute. So there might be some fish out there choking on some beads. I don't know. All right. Well, I just wanted to say hi. Take a quick minute of your time. That, that's all. And um, I'll let you know whatever, whatever I do with this, I'll let you know more. And if you want to see some carving or the Sutton Slice is what this is called, or some stamping, uh, put that in the comment area and I'll be sure to do it. Okay? Hope you have a really nice evening or a really nice day if you're just getting up. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.